Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to kind of create a background as you see here. Uh, kind of simple, kind of sleek, uh, looks sort of professional. Uh, as you see, you kind of got the text here with an underline. And I've kind of created this CD, standard for Chrome Designs that is, um, just for myself. So let's go into Photoshop to do it. I'm going to go to File New and you want to use, if you're using this for a desktop background, you want to use the same properties and kind of what your computer stands with. Uh, mine is 1650 by 1050 and I'm going to the background colour white like so and I'm just going to hit X which alternates these colours so it will be black and I am just going to fill it in like so. I'm going to double click on it to unlock, click enter and I'm going to double click on it again and go to gradient overlay. Once I'm on gradient overlay, I'm going to change it to radial. I'm going to reverse and I'm going to change the white to a dark grey. And my cat just jumped on me. Down. Right. Uh, and a dark grey, something like so. Uh, one thing I do like to make, I like to tone down this black just a tad. And then I'll ink maybe. No, that's looking alright. Uh, drag the scale up and we kind of got the kind of sort of gradient going in here which looks kind of cool for the background so now we're going to move on to the kind of CD as I created here uh, the font I'm going to be using I'm not actually sure, sure how you pronounce it it's X-I-R-O-D so it's Gyrod Gyrod something like that anyway so I'm going to type C and I'm just going to click the tick. Uh, control J to duplicate. And I'm going to make the next one a D. Now these are about the right size, but if you want to uh, alternate the sizes to be the same, go to the little move tool, make sure you've got both of them selected by holding control and edit free transform. I'll maybe make them just a tad bigger, like so. And first things first, I'm going to. Wait, what am I going to do? No, I'm not going to do anything now. I'm just going to line them up. It does not matter about the colours because you'll be editing them later. Uh, the D, you can just kind of just do it how you like. Like so, that's looking good for me. You know, just be original, do it. On the first, it comes into your mind. So I'm just going to rasterize these layers first, and then I'm going to merge them. So I'm just going to double click on it, go to gradient overlay. And I'm just going to kind of create sort of light white, sort of grey look, kind of shiny metal, shiny chrome. I may drag the white to the middle, roughly. And a bit of a, maybe a bit just darker grey there. Like so. And I'm going to change the style to reflected. And that just kind of reflects it around and it's kind of more, kind of more random if, if you want. And at the same time I'm going to maybe... Add an outer glow and then change it to black. If you make sure you change the black, make sure you change the blend mode to normal, otherwise you won't notice it. Just increase it. I'm gonna click OK for now. Go to actual pixel just so I can actually see what it will look like. So you can't really notice that outer glow, so I'm just gonna increase the size a tad. There we go. And I'm just gonna add a bevel and emboss. Uh, lower down the black completely until it's on zero. And I'm going to move the white into the, just to the top left corner slightly. Like so. Now I think that's a bit bright, so I'm going to change the white to a bit of a grey so it's more noticeable. Hmm. Oh, have something like that. And back to Bevelin and Boss. Just kind of move it around. So it takes fancy and that's looking quite good. So I'm just going to click OK. And I'm going to type some more text. Yeah, I'm going to type Chrome Designs. Now I'm going to click Control A to select all. And I'm going to lower down the size to something like 72. Chrome Designs going to line it up. In fact, 72 is way too big. <laughs> way too big. Uh, 48 will do the job for my resolution. So I'm just going to line it up here, 
Maybe this little CD thing is a bit big. So I'm going to edit free transform and lower it down. Hold shift as well so it stays in perspective. And it's looking good. Chrome designs. And I'm going to copy the layer style from the CD by going right clicking, copy layer style onto Chrome designs by right clicking paste style. And there you have it. Now you notice that I created an underline. Uh, all I did was I went to click and hold on the square tool, went to line, change the color to white, and style. Yeah, it's not there. So anyway, just going to draw the line, hold shift so it's straight, and make sure it's kind of fills up the length. Yeah, I'm just going to use the arrow keys to shift it over into the middle. And again, I'm going to paste the layer style onto this, like so. But you notice on here, you kind of it kind of fades right at the edges. Now there is probably a professional way to do this, or at least a more advanced way to do this. But all I do is I right-click, rasterize layer, and I'm maybe just going to zoom in a bit, a bit more. Oh crap, not too much. A bit lagging a bit. Go to the rubber tool, and I just start to kind of like rubber ray at the corners. Decides to like rub away that is, and do the same to the far corner. That is really annoying. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, I stuck on the rubber now, and it's just going all over the place. There we go. I do apologize. Uh, back to the rubber tool, if it's going to do it. Oh, Christ. I don't, oh that's looking alright. So I'm just going to go to the zoom tool and actual pixels. And I managed to do that thing in the middle. That was with my rubber tool being stupid. Sorry about that. Uh, but now again, just line it up. You may need to go to edit free transform to make it bigger. Uh, just because you kind of do decrease the scale a bit. And there you have it. So actual pixels. Uh, zoom over a bit, back fit on screen, and it's kind of coming along a bit. Chrome designs and the shape one, which is the line, just move centered, and the D just to align that. And one final thing that I like to do is I like to make a new layer, go into filter, render, and clouds. Uh, let it work. Click. Make sure you got black as you well no black as your background color. Filter, render, clouds, and there you go. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the blend mode and change it to screen. No screen doesn't work. Overlay. Oh that's the one. And then lower down the opacity just a bit. In fact, quite a bit. Like. So, that's just starting to create a bit of, bit of contrast, between, just so it's not kind of so clean. But no, that's how to kind of create a kind of sleek background, a lot of people wondered. Uh, but no, that's it. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.